Pokemon! I think I did a pretty good job with the intro for this video. Yo, what's up? It's Dynasty back playing Who's That Animality? Um, channeling our inner Pokemon because you guys do you know over the past few days the official Mortal Kombat social media accounts have been sharing this 100% Pokemon inspired name that combatant minigame and then like an hour after the fact they share the actual animality. I've done it like two or three times already and today has been no different. On this Friday they came out and said Call them an invasive species, we dare you. Which combatant will be taking the form of a Venus flytrap? Send your guesses and we'll let you know in an hour. And this was well about an hour ago. So they actually already did update their channel, social page, X page with the actual brutality. Um, but yeah, a Venus flytrap animality. I said it was probably WB because when I think of invasive species in Mortal Kombat, I think of Warner Bros. Um, it seems like a lot of you guys thought that was kind of funny. So, who could it be? Uh, initially, I was thinking maybe Baraka because, well, you know, his teeth and the Venus flytrap kind of have the same characteristics. Speaking of same characteristics, Reptile's got a tongue. Venus flytrap has a tongue. So those are my two guesses. Uh, maybe the third option could be... Uh, Trico from Pokemon. I don't know. Regardless, though, I'll be actually reacting to this and going over a free new skin from Season 1 that just got added to your inventory as well, which should excite most of you Scorpion fans and users and players. So before I break down and react to this uh, plantality, a Venus flytrap's not even an animal, is it? Isn't this, like, technically a plant? This plantality, do me a solid, it takes you a second, drop a like on the video, this Tuesday, Chaos Reigns drops. If you've not pre-ordered, go pre-order and get your four pre-order skins. Look at me. Uh, shilling for WB and doing the great marketing for them. Okay, with that said, let's see who the hell turns into a Venus flytrap. Uh, it's Poison Ivy. Okay, let's see. Not fair, they really just spoil it from the jump. The preview on the video is literally Reptile and the caption says, he's hungrier for something a little bigger than flies. Reptile is your Venus flytrap animality. Uh, I guess technically it's an animality because he is a reptile uh, sometimes um, that just happens to also become a plant sometimes. I don't know, guys. Let's watch this. 33 seconds. I'm assuming he'll probably uh, channel his Mortal Kombat 9 fatality and just use his tongue to, to eat the combatant. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Reptile... Turning into a Venus flytrap. I swear. <laughs> I said it could have been Baraka. Not that I wanted to see Baraka being eaten by a plant, dude. Okay, well, pretty much to the know. point. Yeah. Pretty much clear cut and to the point. I swear, this is the straight same animation from his Mortal Kombat 9 Fatal. That's literally what he did back in 2011. That's so funny. And he's doing it on Baraka, of all people. Brock, he deserves better than this, bud. Yeah, uh... It's to the point! It's a Venus flytrap doing Venus flytrap things! Is that what, three or four different chomps and then he's done? So yeah, um... I wish it said plantality, but, you know... It's an animal, even though I still think technically it's not! It's a plant! Now, I saw my pal Zach share this, and I think he's right. If you guys remember from the combat cast, they had the art director who actually confirmed that if they're doing these animalities, they kind of want it to fit the character they're doing it for. It's a refreshing, um, you know, creative kind of uh, endeavor for everybody on the team um, to, you know, come up with what is uh, every character, what are they going to transform into? Let's make sure it fits their character. Um, what are they going to do once they transform into that animal? Um, and, 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 and we kind of took it from there. So, it's, it's so uh, Noob Cybot turns into a crocodile alligator. Which one is it? I don't know. Somebody school me on the animals here. Uh, took that from Reptile. And instead, Reptile becomes a plant. What is he going to do? The exact same animation he did from 2011, essentially. Uh, with less acid, I guess? No acid, I didn't see any acid, so yeah. They said it had to fit the character, I mean, in the tongue department. Pause. 
it works. And like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, the free skin for this week is this one right here. Nothing will extinguish this flame. Scorpion's sudden outburst skin is now free to all players in Mortal Kombat 1. Again, themed based off of season one of Invasions. I'm pretty sure this was one of those um, skins that you couldn't get for months and months and months, and now you can. They were saving it for, I guess, the build up and lead up launch of Chaos Reign. So this should already be added to your Mortal Kombat 1 inventory. Check that out because, well, it's free. Now the response to the actual reptile animality has been what you'd expect. Plantality, Baraka getting disrespected again. Very cool, I guess. This one kind of dances a fine line for plant animality. The tongue. Yeah, the tongue is the one thing that kind of draws it together to make some sense. Sounds about right for reptile. <laughs> That's got to be some sarcasm. Um, Venus flytrap's a plant, however, although its biology is plant-based, many still do recognize it as an animal. Thought that was a crab. Why is it always Baraka? Baraka with Netherrealm reveals a character's animality. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Yeah, lately it's just been constantly on Baraka. It's cool that Reptile has something different considering he's already a walking animality. Like I was saying, I guess this is their way to uh, do something fresh for the Reptile. Um, so there you go. That is the animality. Seems like universally everyone's content with it, even though... I still would call this a planality. Um, just saying. Just saying. Yeah, that's 100% the exact same tongue animation from Mortal Kombat 9. I feel like I remember that just so much because back in MK9, I was a reptile main. I used to just main reptile. That was my go-to. Um, I think I still remember the actual fatality 2 combination. Down, down, Inverted arrow, facing arrow, B, I think, or something. Yeah, I used to use Reptile all the time, and that second fatality was my favorite. The first one, I think, was the tongue one, or was that just the classic one? One of them had a fucking tongue, and the other one, he had, like, the orb that would explode that he would put inside their body. Yeah, regardless, though, there you go. If you guys enjoyed this little, uh, who's that Pokemon reaction, do me a solid. It takes you a second. Drop a like on it. Subscribe for more MK content like this on the channel. Till next time, I've been your host, been Dynasty. Guys, please take care, stay safe, I love you. Have a great weekend. See you in the next video. Peace.